What's up guys, this is Felix. So I was looking at this new website we've got, but I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's also pretty boring. I think we might be able to get some credibility on here if we added some links to some other websites. Let's go hunting around for some websites about giant squid. Giant squid are cool. Here, let's just take a look at these things real quick. Man, look at that. All right, let's get back on track. We need to find a website. Oh, yes, Wikipedia. Perfect. Let's copy that. Where do we want to put this? I think we can put it down here at the bottom. We can have a little link that says more information. So we'll go back into the body, down below everything. We're going to have more information. Now to make this be a link, we're going to put a link tag surrounding it, just like we did up here to make the word everywhere underlined, italics bold. We're going to make a link tag surrounding it. So that's going to be a, and I don't know exactly why it's an A tag, uh, but at least it's short. You only have to type one letter. So A tag, and then we're going to end it, end A. And with an A tag, we're going to do something new here. We're going to give this tag an attribute. So for links, for A tag, we're going to specify href, that's the name of the attribute, equals, and inside of quotes, we're going to put the place that we want the link to take you to, the destination. Paste that in there. Okay, that should be it for that link. Let's come over to our page and reload. And now look at the bottom of the page, we've got a more information link. I can see when I hover over it, down at the bottom there, it shows me where it's going to go. I can click it, and boom, takes us right to the giant squid Wikipedia page. All right, let's go back. Now, another type of link that we could do is to another page in our website. So, Let's go ahead and create another page. New file, giant squid.html. Open that up, and again, we're going to need the same core structure, so we'll just paste that in. Make the title be giant squid. giant squid. And let's just go with the same thing, see, theme here. Giant squid. And for now, we'll just keep this page simple. Let's put the more information for giant squid on the giant squid page. And we'll delete it from the main page. Instead, Let's turn this into a link. We can put a heading here. Types of squid. I think the plural of squids is or the plural of squid is squids. Types of squids, each two. Okay. And under here we were gonna have a link to each of the different kinds. One is going to be giant squid. And let's make that a link to our giant squid page. To do that, we're just going to give it how to get to this giant squid file from the file that we're currently in. So we're in the squid folder. We're currently typing in 
the index.html. So if I am this file and I'm looking around me, checking out my surroundings, in the folder that I'm in, I can see giant squid. This might be more illustratable if we come in here. I can go into the squid folder. I'm this file and I'm looking out around me and I see, oh look, there's a giant squid.html. So we're going to just type in giant squid.html. Just like that, exactly how the file name shows up here. Okay, so we can do that. Come over here and reload the page. Types of squids, giant squid. And if we click this, look, there it goes. It takes us over to our giant squid page. You can see up here in the box it shows us we have now switched files. We can use the same strategy if we were to create another folder in here. We could make the folder called types and put giant squid in there. And if that's the case, of course, this link isn't going to work anymore. We're going to have to tell it. Again, looking back here in the squid folder, index.html looks around and says, oh, look, I see a folder named types. So we're going to start in types and then put a slash to indicate we're going into that folder. And here's the file we're after. So if we save this and reload, it should still work. There we go takes us to our page. One more thing we can do with links is link to a place on the same page that we're currently at. Now to really illustrate this, we're going to need some more content on the page so that we can scroll. Where can we get more content about squid? Oh, I know. Giant Squid, Wikipedia, copy, 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 let's get all this stuff here, and let's put this over here in the Giant Squid folder, let's put it between these, make an H2, more, let's put information and h2 paragraph and paragraph and we forgot a bracket here okay cool lots of content let's see if it's enough go over to our giant squid page oh did we not Why isn't it showing up? Oh, it saved it back into the original location. But this was the one that we linked to. So we'll copy all of this and put it in the linked one. And we'll close that and delete that file. That's yeah, misleading. All right, so we've got everything in giant squid file here and our link should work. There it is. Oh, we don't have quite enough. So let's go get some dummy content. There's this really cool thing called lorem ipsum where you can just have it generate random text, like dummy content basically. You can read a little bit about the history here. It's based on uh, some Latin from a piece that a guy wrote. And we're just going to get like, I don't know, we'll get 10 paragraphs. Generate, look, 10 paragraphs of text. Copy information. We can make a little heading. 
Lorem Ipsum. Got our great content here. Paragraph, paste, and paragraph. Okay. And now we reload. Cool, we can scroll. Uh, but I still want a heading down below here. We need even more content. So actually what we can do is zoom the page in. There we go. Now we have to scroll a little bit further. So I want to make a link, sort of like a table of contents, so that I can get down to this lorem ipsum heading on the page. I want to put that up here at the top. So at the top of the page, we can make an H2 table of contents, perhaps. And then we're going to put a link. So A, and then href is going to tell it where to go. Let's just leave it blank for now. Lorem ipsum and A. In order to tell it to go to a place on this page, we're going to have to add an anchor to the place that we want to link to. So we come down here to the lorem ipsum heading, and we're going to also put an A tag. That might actually be what A stands for. It could be anchor. A, but we're not going to give it an href this time. Now we're going to give it name. And we can just call it, call it what it is, lorem ipsum, and a. So we've just given this lorem ipsum text an anchor named lorem ipsum. And now, in this link, in the href, we can put pound sign, and then the name. Lorem ipsum, exactly the way we typed it down here. Lorem hyphen ipsum, lorem hyphen, hyphen ipsum. All right, we save that, and when we reload the page, we've got this table of contents, lorem ipsum, and when we click that, there it is. It takes us straight down to this heading, and we're still on the same page, we can see. All right, well, that's the basics on links. Hope this has been helpful to you. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks.